All right, new breakdown, new case study. I did just did one, but I wasn't happy with it because, yeah, I was just a bit fast with it, really. So let's do like a little bit more clean. So what happened first? Asia or tonight's price action, we took previous daily highs, which could form at 8 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Yeah, anyway, this was the high of yesterday. Then we took this internal high. And... Let's make it a little bit more clear. So, look, that's better. We took this internal range liquidity at the, at the top. So, lining it up. Uh, daily liquidity, this high liquidity, internal range liquidity, this bearish range. Lining it up that we are in the premium of our most recent bearish range on the 15 minute or the high time frame, whatever you want to call it. I was looking for shorts and I was not looking for Asia high to be taken. Then I wasn't, wasn't either looking for price to come into this fair value gap either. So just because we took those highs, uh, that was valid enough for me and reason enough for me that price could take this, um, could come lower. Then coming into the, on to the one minute, what can we see? Three o'clock, Asia formed a high, formed a low, formed a high, then took out this low, then broke higher. So our first set of early sellers. Then we had our low, formed a new high, took out this low, and then formed another new high. So again, early sellers. Then we got the break coming into pre-London Frankfurt Open. What can we see? We can see the liquidity buildup um, below this three-minute order block. We have a five minute order block above here as well. Then, before taking that liquidity, we got another set of early sellers because high, low, lower high, lower low. Break the upside, break the downside. And then, price came up, Frankfurt open, entry from the three minute block above this liquidity short. I didn't take this trade. I had some issues with uh, MD4, but yeah, uh, that was shit. But so I was waiting initially for price to come up higher and enter from the five minute block to take this internal range liquidity as well. But as we can see, this five, this block, this three minute block, already took this. So it's really a strong. Strong block, in my opinion, should have taken that, but I was angry. I wasn't at the charts, unfortunate, but that's trading. It's a mental game. Clean liquidity build up below the block, slow down, Frankfurt open, down. One to five is hit. I have to break in the range, but that's no problem. And targeting Asia low. And so one to thirteen, to T, yeah, one to thirteen, with the breeding room and everything. Then I missed this. Then I was trying to get another entry because price broke down. What happened? And this was the last order block. We had the early sellers over here. Break to the upside. Break to the downside. Bears break. So I was looking for an order flow continuation trade from here, but the price never came there. Had my limits there, unfortunate it didn't come there. Um, what can we see on the candles? We can see that after Asia, this we had um bear stepping in, bull stepping in. And ending up with this wick and then bear stepping in and there's barely any wicks to the downside so it shows that um the bears were pretty strong same here just a small wick to the upside a strong hand to the downside and this is where the entry was after this As you can see see bears were stronger coming up wick down you can read it all from these candles four hour wise same come above this high leave a spike then in this four hour candle was our entry but you can see after we create sort of equals or liquidity to the downside 
for HLO. HLO is taken. Bull step in instantly. Taking all this out and purely based on the four hour time frame, I wouldn't look for shorts. However, this can change and flip just like you can see here. This is an indecisive candle and then can come up. So, yeah, we will see. Um, where's price most likely to go next based on this range? Down, internal range liquidity taken down. Why down? Because we haven't achieved oh, haven't achieved the discount yet of our bullish range, and also based on our higher time frame red range, we can see price continue down. So that's what I'm looking for for now, and let's see what happens. Stop share, and 